morning. Um, I thought I'd, uh, you may remember, I bought a new camo net a few months ago. And um, although I love the color of it, it's a dry, dry grass camo. Um, it's 13 feet long, which is about four meters and five feet wide, which is about one and a half meters. So I'm gonna try and change the configuration of it. So it's gonna be 10 foot wide by six and a half foot wide, if that makes any sense. So what, what we're gonna do, obviously I'm gonna lay it out. So I'm in casemates today in the big room, plenty of room to do it, no wind. And um, I'm gonna lay it out on the floor here. And I've also got this, this is what I'm gonna to use to tie it all back together with. I was gonna use plastic cable ties, but this is off an old cat scratching post. So it's got a nice, nice little natural sort of rope for it. So I'm gonna use that to tie it all together. So basically it's gonna end up 10 foot by six and a half foot, which I think is better than being 13 foot by five. So yeah, let's get this out, see how, uh, see how we do. So I really like this color of this as well. It's very wintry, autumnal color, but it's just too long. Too long and too thin for my liking, so yes. So what I'll do, I'll get it all laid out for you. So there we are, I've got a tape measure from the office and it's longer than I thought. I thought it was 13 feet long, but it's actually 16, well, over 16 feet long, five meters, five meters long. And let's just check out the widths. Hang on a minute. You might hear some music in a minute because there's some bands just coming here rehearsing. Um, yeah, so width wise, it's four feet, or just over uh, 1.3 meters. So it's even smaller width ways than I thought it was. So what I'm gonna do, is measure roughly halfway. Actually, I don't wanna do it roughly, I wanna do it exact actually, as close as I can get it. But the actual tape measure is not quite long enough to get the, so what I could do is fold it in half, or fold it in half, and then put some sort of marker through the middle, and I know roughly where to cut it. I mean, it's ridiculously long, but it's too, it's not narrow, not wide enough. I'm sure I ordered bigger than that, width ways, but maybe I didn't. Anyway, let's fold it in half. Better size, I think. I'll cut that in half, put it in half down there, and I'll move that bit and tie it on along there. See what happens. So I've got a long piece of plastic here. I'll feed that through. marker there now. Alright, I'm going to open it back out again. Hopefully that 
plastic strip or the way stay exactly where it is. I'm going to kick it. And that's where I need to cut it. Along this side. Right, let's do that. Scissors. Right then, so there we go. Moment of no return now. Be good at the scissors, I did. Do you know what? I think I'll get there quicker. I used the old uh, Huntsman. too much. Seems like someone's playing baseline to living on a prayer somewhere. Classic bass line. <laughs> Nearly there. Oh. There we go. side by side. Right, let's just move this one out of the way. So that's going to go roughly there. That's there. So I really like the colour of this, you know, the camo. Being like a, a woodland autumn type, you know, winter. That's better, isn't it? That's much better. So what's that going to measure now? Let me get the tape measure out. Put it all together, tie it all up with that rope. So what have we got now? So this way we have nine feet. Good. Nine foot that way. So now I put that way. I put that way. Well, roughly two and a half meters that way. Two point seven meters that that way, which is pretty good. So what I'm going to do now. This will be the time consuming bit, I think. Hang on, let me lift you up. There you go. This will be the time consuming bit. Taking the, uh, the cordage there, cutting it up and tying it back together. So let's do that now. I'm gonna cut off a length of this. Got quite a lot here. 
probably didn't need to bring all of it, but you know. Let's actually keep the knife out, get the scissors out so I can cut it, cut off lengths when I need it. Scissors. I'm going to break these threads apart. One strip might do because it is, uh, won't need too much to tie it together on each bit, and I'll trim it up as we go. Nice little length there, a bit thinner. Part even more, look. Right, let's get tying. I'll put you on a time lapse for this, otherwise, it's going to be really boring. Isn't it? So there it is all tied together. And from back here, you can't even see the string, can you? Sort of blends in quite well. But, hang on. If we get close up, you can see. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim all those ends off. And then you won't even notice. So let's do that. There you go, all the ends are cut off. That is a much better size, rather than being like 16 feet long and four feet wide. We've now got eight foot, eight foot by nine foot. Brilliant. That's amazing. See it from that way. I think you'd be hard pressed to tell where the join is on that. Let me uh, put this camera on, stand it up so you can have a look. All right. Here we go. Oops, hit the line. So I can't see the join here. Oh, there it is. And what I did do, I tied it quite close together. So each knot is probably about, I don't know, four inches apart. That is much, much better. I've got this old, I mean, it's a bit frayed around the edges, but I'm just wondering if this will fit in here. This is my green camo net, my summer camo net bag. But it's very tight to get in there, so I'm just going to see if I can get this in there. So let's have a go. Down there. Oh, I keep forgetting how tall I am. Thank <laughs> you. 
and go. That's a good morning's work. Love it. So, yeah, thanks for watching me uh, resize my uh, uh, dry grass autumn winter um, camo net. Much better, much more practical, I think. So, anyway, on that note, thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a little thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed and all the people who subscribe to me thank you very much indeed you're most welcome you're uh, welcome aboard the uh Rob the rover <laughs> channel and um so i'll do is i'll see you next time remember over and about wherever it may be see you soon bye